hook quartz up to shore power, simply lift up with the cover, open up the wire and push it in firmly. Put the cover back down to protect it from the weather and when you want to remove it, simply lift it up and push the blue tab down and pull it out like so. The gas locker is located at the rear, simply lift it up. Underneath you have two gas bottles, they'll both be turned on. If one of them runs out, it will automatically switch onto the other bottle. In between both bottles you have a yellow tab. This is your isolation switch. If you smell gas, you must turn it off immediately and call us. To take the roof down on quartz, simply but slowly undo the winch. When you first start off, just check that nothing is catching. And then when nothing is catching, just take it back nice and slowly. If you want power on the boat, simply turn the inverter to on. It doesn't matter if the engine's running or not. If you want power to your sockets, 240 power, make sure this is turned on. When you're not using it, remember to turn it off to save power. To use the radio on this boat, press source and hold it in the top left hand corner until it lights up. You have your pre-select channels down here, volume up, volume down here, and then push and hold to turn it off. To use the TV on quartz, ensure that the inverter is already turned on. Turn the power on button like so, and the aerial is located at the rear of the boat, so if you need to adjust it to find signal, then do so accordingly. And then to use a DVD player on this boat, simply press the satellite button, uh, the source button, go down to DVD, and use like so. The DVD can be found on the right hand side of the screen. To use the gas hob, make sure that the isolation switch is turned on. Get the sparker, try to push it in and light it accordingly. When you're finished with it, turn it back to off. Make sure you turn your gas tap back to off, like so. This is the heating control panel. You have a rocker switch here that can sit flat or left side down or right side down. When it's right side down, the boat will circulate the air that's in the boat and provide you with cold air. If you have the left side down, it will provide you with hot air. You then have a fan switch to provide how hard the fans will blow the air throughout the boat. At the helm position, you have various dials and switches. In the centre here, you have the revometer, which will provide you with a rough estimate of what speed you're going. So a thousand revs will be roughly four mile an hour. Next to there, you have your bilge pump to leave us in the automatic position. You have a wiper and you have a horn button. If any of your warning lights come on, please moor up as soon as possible and give us a phone call. To start this boat, ensure that the throttle is in the neutral position, which is horizontal. You then pull the silver tab out, which makes sure the gears are disengaged, and put the throttle forward to have revs. Turn the key to 3 o'clock, which will heat the engine and then after about eight seconds, turn the key to start. Slowly pull the throttle back into the neutral position and push the silver tab back in. This is when you'd go untie the ropes and begin your journey. To turn off the boat, push and hold the stop button and turn the key back to the off position. Use the bow thruster on this boat, push and hold both buttons for approximately one second until you hear the beep. The engine must be running for you to use this. If you want the bow of the boat to go left, push and hold the red button. If you want the bow of the boat to go right, push the green button. Try not to use these in short bursts as it uses a lot of power. And please don't use them for too long as this also drains the power. So between three and eight seconds is ideal. The water pump is located underneath the throttle at the front helm. When you want water throughout the boat, simply turn the uh, switch on and your taps will now be pressurized. You can leave this on, however, it can be a noise irritant, so turn it off when you're not using it. To use this toilet, simply push the foot pedal all the way down and push and hold the toilet flush button, like so. After you've used the shower facility, please ensure that you push and hold the shower flush button to ensure that the water gets pumped away. 